Okay, today's mission, to figure out how to mix machine and tractor together if you only own these two products. This is the Tractor X1 MK3, and this happens to be the Machine Plus, but it could also be the Machine Mark III for the purposes of this video. So we're gonna go through very quickly how to set up the audio for each app, and then a couple of basic tips and tricks, and then we're gonna jam out for a while. So stick around. The first thing we have to look at is the audio preferences in Tractor and Machine. And I'm just gonna throw up some screenshots so you can see what we're doing. In my screenshots, it's gonna show Machine Plus as the audio interface for each program, but in your case, we're talking about the MK3 or the Machine Plus, whichever you own. Uh, in this video, we are not using this machine in standalone mode, so it is acting as a controller only. So given that it's plugged in via USB to the computer and we're using it as a controller, uh, it doesn't really matter that it's standalone for today's purposes. So that means for you that you can get the exact same results with the MK3. Okay, let's do it. First, in Machine and Tractor, you have to enable Link. So if you start playing a song, you can see up here in the corner that there is a bit of a Link signal. I'm gonna disable it. And I'm gonna show you what happens if you play with the round the button. So now I've activated a drop beat that doesn't match the actual drop beat up here. If there was a metronome, you could hear it for three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So you have to kind of, this part takes some finesse. Now my track is in sync with the drop beat. That's important because when you go over here and hit link on Machina, it's going to start. It's gonna start on the drop beat. I'm gonna hit it now and wait and then it'll... Okay, so everything's talking, right? So here's how I would probably... So I'm gonna start from scratch here.
machine kits. But where's tractor? Well, I'll tell you. We're gonna disable this loop. get here okay 
first of all, we went to the master group and we just set a basic EQ. And the basic EQ gives us the ability to drop the bass or bring it in. Or the same thing with high. Just be careful because it's really hard to get them back to zero with speakers unless you're really good. And I'm not. So that's one thing we're doing. Master EQ, which gives you like a DJ vibe. I also set some master macros. So at the group level, if I go to plugin, I have a reverb, I have a perform effect with a filter, right? And if you go to macros, you can see that I have the frequency and the touch grip engaged at the master level. So, so we'll go back to macros. There's that filter. I also have one set for the reverb. You can play with all that stuff. We'll try that again. Yeah, so see, <laughs> I turned off the reverb and the filter effect while this pattern was on a silent pattern like this, like that. And then I selected another pattern that has more of a breakdown. So it lets you kind of make your track move, right? Yeah. 